Okay, this how-to video is going to go through some of the basic settings that you have inside of AllCAD Capture and Capture CIS. They're available under the, the options and preferences and the options and extended preferences menu options. So uh, we'll go here to the first preferences. So the preferences pane gives us things like colors, the ability to change the theme. Obviously, we've got the dark and the light theme for the actual application and also for the schematic window. Um, so you have settings there. Different colors for all the different objects, so your pins, your part bodies, your ref design, your, your, your net groups, your text, etc. Also, whether you want to include these in the print, so you can um, choose which ob objects you actually want to be printed. If we look at the grid display, there's the default grid settings for the grid and whether it's displayed, lines as dots, what size it is. Personally, I'd recommend sticking to the one-to-one -one grid here in most of the instances. Um, there's a pan and zoom settings. There's a selection settings, so obviously how you um, when you do a window select, is, is it an intersecting to select the object or is it a fully enclosed? There's some miscellaneous settings for things like um, the reference designator, so how do you reference parts, um, the search toolbar, the docking pane, uh, the wire drag, so lots of different default options, which text editor you want to use, and there's some simulation stuff here as well. There's also a more preferences button um, that will launch the extended preferences, so you can get it from the more preferences here, or we can go to options and extended preferences. This brings up the extended preferences dialog that allows us to do more settings for things like the command shell, designs and libraries, whether we enable things like um, we back annotate pin numbers or whether we save design as uppercase or um, if we enable the global install communication. So when we're cross probing with uh, the Cadence PCB tools, you can have these turned on or off, whether you want uh, arrows on input pins. There's some design cache settings, DRC, CIS, net group netlist so you can obviously have all the character limits applied to all, all, all projects there's some default schematic options some configuration files so your lego cfg your prefprop.txt um, these are used obviously for your property editor and this is used for property transfer into pcb editor so where are these going to be stored from and then there's some part symbol editor uh, settings as well so it's worthwhile having a look through these to get the uh, capture customized into the way that you want to use it